What's going on, my YouTubers? We back with another one. I remember I commented on the post on YouTube. Um, it was something about KTS Dre. I forgot the name of the video, but I find it. Um, and that comment got like 1,500 likes, almost 2,000 likes. And in that comment, I was asked, how did I know KTS Dre? This is how I knew KTS Dre. Well, coincidentally, I moved on 79th and Muskegon, which used to be known as Lakeside, in 1991, the same year he was born. So 1996, that's the year I jumped off the porch. I was 14 years old, you know, tomorrow I went to South Shore High School, all the folks in there, Lakeside, man, Lawn City, Sircon, the low end, everybody in that bitch. All right, so let me fast forward a little bit. Um, I actually didn't even meet folks until about maybe 2004. He was about 13 then. He was already wild as fuck. He was born in that lakeside shit. Alright, so we're going to fast forward a little further. We're going to say going into maybe the early 2Gs. Um, I used to always see folks down there on 79th and Marquette. Up there by Margaritas. Anybody from over East East or in that area, y'all know about Margaritas. Y'all know. So, <clears throat> Lakeside really consisted of six blocks, 79th and Marquette, 80th and Marquette, 79th and Manistee, 80th and Manistee, 79th and Burnham was pretty much eh, neutral, but, you know, they was still the land, 79th and uh, Muskegon, and 78th and Muskegon, those were like Lakeside headquarters. Shit, honestly, that was like the only time I really went down there on 79th and Marquette <clears throat> was to go to Margaritas, you know what I'm saying? Every um, now and then, I swing over there on 78th and Marquette, 79th and Marquette, go fuck with some of the folks I was in school with, but that wasn't my block. Like, I didn't really hang down there or hustle down there, you know what I'm saying? I was from Muskegon, but, uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Me and folks wasn't friends. Like, we didn't have each other's number, like, in our phone. I mean, don't get me wrong, we wasn't enemies either. Um, I ain't never had no bad experience with the man. Actually, every time he see me, he cute all. Oh, what's up, folks? Wild as hell with it and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? It was all love. Uh, like I said, you know what I'm saying? I was much older than folks, so, you know, everybody had their own little groups and little cliques and shit they hung with. You know what I'm saying? So, at this friend or whatever we went to, this was the first and only, <clears throat> excuse me, this was the first and only time I met KTS Vaughn. But honestly, then... I really didn't even know who the fuck he was and shit, honestly. And here's the Google map picture, 8024 Marquette. All right, and I'm about to get to the closing statements. <clears throat> honestly, shit, the last time I seen folks or interacted with him, this had to be like maybe 2011 or 12, something like that. She was going to one of the guys' funeral, she one of the folks named Lolo. He got killed. During this time, I was staying 8024 South Marquette. 8024 Marquette, yep. Yeah. This was during the time I stayed right across the street from Pasto. In the building on the corner, that's the building that he got killed in. But I should make that another story. <clears throat> I was much older than little folks, too. But he came to my crib every night. You know what I'm saying? I smoked with him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Feed him, whatever. Shit, I knew his little brother, Jack Boy, and his mama. She made she rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, other than that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really had, like, too many, shit, too many interactions with him. Like, we ain't never smoked or, you know what I'm saying, rode in the car together and no shit like that, though. Shit, last but not least, <clears throat> those are my memories of KTS Dre. I didn't know the man personally, personally. Like, you know, I knew his wife and, you know, I met his kids, you know. I ain't never did that, though. I just knew him. I knew him from Lakeside. Uh, please don't jump in my comment section asking me about no killings or no shootings. Man, I don't know nothing about nothing. We ain't even finna get into none of that because that's not what this video about. Um, you know, I don't really <clears throat> speak on the dead too much unless it's somebody I knew or met or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. That's how I knew KTS Dre. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay armed, stay dangerous. I'm going to start doing more story time videos too. Also, 
I got more memories of uh, actually Pasto because he was in my crib at night. Like me and Lil Fosta actually sat down and talked. I'm going to make that a video too. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, my shift over, y'all. I got to go. Again, y'all stay armed, stay dangerous. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button, whatever. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, that was a true story, no fabrication. Um, I'm going to do some more stories like that too, though. But I'm at work right now, so I got to get back to work. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.